Yeah. Let's get now to the questions being raised about the scope of Bob Mueller's inquiry. Chief among them, how far can the president go to shield himself or his family from any possible fallout? Joining me, former Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman. She helped draft the articles of impeachment for President Nixon. It's nice to see you again. Thank you for joining me, ma'am. Uh, let's get right Thank to your you. reaction to what Senator Lindsey Graham told reporters about what would happen if the president tried to fire Bob Mueller. Here it is. Any effort to go after Mueller could be the beginning of the end of the Trump presidency unless Mueller did something wrong. So if you're the president, is it more effective to undermine Mueller's credibility or do you just fire him outright and risk all the blowback? Well, there's some serious questions about firing Mueller. I mean, that I agree with uh, Senator Graham. Uh, when President Nixon ordered the firing of the special prosecutor who was investigating Watergate and was looking into his conduct, that led to the beginning of the downfall of Richard Nixon. That's what triggered impeachment proceedings. That triggered vast public outrage. The American people said we're not a banana republic. I think the same thing could happen again if President Trump tries to get Mueller fired. The same thing could happen, and it could lead, trigger the beginning of the end. Mueller is a highly respected law enforcement official, probably the most respected in this country. Republicans as well as Democrats have said very fine things about him. So for the president to go after him personally would be very dangerous to the president. And on top of that, there's a legal issue. Under the law, Mueller can't be removed as special prosecutor without good cause. If there's no good cause, then Mueller may have a lawsuit to stay on. President mm. Trump fires him, <laughs> Mueller stays on, and we have a lawsuit for several years. That's not a good idea for Mr. Trump. The other thing that I think he's doing is he's trying to get Sessions to fire, uh, Sessions to, to remove himself so he can replace Sessions so he can have the Attorney General fire Mueller. That would have the same thing. There's no way that Trump can get his fingerprints off of firing of Mueller, and if that happens, I think all bets are off. I think it's the end of his presidency. Wow. Talk about a lead news story for some time to come, that's for sure. Let's listen to Roger Stone make an argument which the right seems to have latched onto about Robert Mueller. Here's that. In view of the fact that Mr. Mueller auditioned for Mr. Comey's job, he is hopelessly conflicted in this matter, and on that basis alone, he should step down. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Comey is. Co um, Mueller is compromised because he wanted to be he because, to serve because in the he, in, he interviewed with the president for for Comey's job after he stepped down. So that's a con so. that's a very clear conflict. How has the Justice Department historically determined conflicts of interest? Would this job interview that's being discussed there would that fall in line with past examples? Uh, well, I'm not an expert on this subject, but the Justice Department itself has a very careful and strict. Um, screening process and I'm sure this was presented to them and if not it should be but I don't believe that that's a conflict of interest uh, clearly uh, Mueller preferred working for the Justice Department <laughs> than uh, taking a job from uh, Trump himself so I, I, I don't think that this presents any conflict of interest at all but uh, it could it could and should have been reviewed There's no yeah. question about that I want to get to the issue of pardons here. Uh, let's assume the president can pardon himself. But if the president pardons himself and his family members from all matters related to the Russia investigation, uh -huh. would that automatically end Bob Mueller's probe? I mean, can Mueller continue to investigate something that wouldn't yield invi <laughs> indictments? Wait a minute. I'm not going to agree with your assumption. I wrote an article I'm, about I'm, this. It's the a big if. I, no, I'm making the an president if there. cannot. I don't think there's an if there. The president cannot pardon himself. And if he pardons himself, you'll see the end of his presidency, the same as if he fires Mueller. But if he tries, tries to pardon other people, and he does have the power to do that, and, and does that for the purpose of obstructing Mueller's investigation, then what could happen is that could be a grounds for a prosecution, obstruction of justice, and it could also be grounds for impeachment. Even though he may have the power to do that, if he does it for the wrong reasons, mm -hmm. he can be indicted, prosecuted, or impeached, and or It'll impeached. Elizabeth, in your op-ed, you're writing that the major argument against the power to self-pardon goes back all the way to our founding fathers. You quote James Madison, in fact, who wrote that no man is allowed to be a judge in his own cause. So right. this is, you're saying this is a legal principle. I mean, how, how could courts weigh this idea against what the Constitution actually says? 
Well, the Constitution doesn't say a president has the power to pardon himself or herself someday. Um, what the, Consti the Constitution is silent on this. It's silent for a very good reason. Actually, the issue, in a way, was debated at the Constitutional Convention, where somebody tried to say, well, let's stop the president from uh, having the power to pardon in cases of treason because he could you know, engage in a conspiracy over treason and pardon him and pardon the conspirators and himself. And the, the opponents of that said, the president can be prosecuted, don't worry about it. They wouldn't have said that if there had been a self-pardon power. So it's actually in the debate over the pardon power itself that we see the, the Constitutional Convention, the framers of the Constitution saying, don't worry about it president can't pardon himself. They don't use those same words, but that's the, the concept that's involved there. So I don't think there's really any serious question about that, but I think the fact that President Trump is talking about that could be a kind of obstruction of justice because it could be sending a signal to various conspirators, if there are any, to keep their mouths shut. Remember in Watergate, let's just go back to Watergate, President Nixon authorized pardons, presidential pardons for the Watergate burglars to keep them quiet. That was one of the grounds of impeachment. So the president ought to keep his mouth shut about pardons, otherwise he could be getting himself into big trouble. All right, former Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman, always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.